everyone and welcome back to another batch of movie commentaries. Today we're doing Kung Fu Panda 2. Yay! Yay. Excellent! Okay! Okay! My, my okay. Trilogy. okay, 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 hmm. okay, so yeah, a bit of a tip, but this was released in 2011. The, okay, the earlier half of the 2010s were where DreamWorks were more or less rising to be on top of the animation industry. Disney were starting to get their acts together, whereas, uh, uh, uh whereas, uh, <coughs> Pixar were starting to, uh, yeah. lose their grip on everything, and, yeah, Pixar would kind of spend a decade with the dork age. Yeah, basically. So, uh, yeah, in this year, actually, um, we had, a, aside from, we had a Hunter and Dragon in 2010, and in this movie, we had two really good movies, uh, the Puss in Boots and this one. God, I love Puss in Boots here. Like, seriously, though, I mean, well, before... That was a nice surprise, that movie. Okay, 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 yeah. seriously, before the Universal buyout, DreamWorks were definitely, like, well, they were brimming with passion here and there. And, and it all Universal attacked. Basically, this movie was uh, got a new director because Mark Osborne w went to France to make the Little Prince movie. That's all. That's all right. Hmm. Well, so, that's also a good movie. So, sure, why don't you tell the audience where we're starting? Okay. All right. If you're using uh, Netflix, start from. Mm. Is it zero? Yes. Or Blu-ray or Pedro. If, if you're watching the, if you're using the Blu-ray, uh, start at two seconds because uh, Netflix hates black screens. So as as Lewis puts it. So. Yep. So Netflix uses Netflix uses start at zero. Blu-ray uses start at two seconds. Mm -hmm. Very good. Go ahead, hey. Siri. Good All right. Off. Three, two, one, click. I went I... to see the theaters. Oh wait. Actually, yes, Siri. I didn't. I think I saw this in theaters because I saw the first movie quite a few times. I saw this a handful of times, and I don't remember the others. So, yeah, like I said, DreamWorks were on the ball and the rise. Like, not only were their movies getting better with their sequels, their animation was actually pretty, pretty spectacular. Object story. Well, Shrek 4 aside. Well, okay, even Shrek 4 had pretty great animation. And you know what? Shrek 4 was a movie that was trying, and I do mean trying, to revitalize the All franchise right. after Shrek the Third. Yeah. Ooh. I'm gonna use this thing for evil. Well, that wasn't his intention originally. Of course. So, basic, so basically, this is Fire Emblem Awakening story if it went horribly wrong. In universe, I mean. Don't, don't you mean Fire Emblem Fate? <laughs> nah. So, Dad, yeah, I... it turns out, you know, trying to wipe. Yes. So, it turns out trying to wipe out a whole species is not something your parents are always proud of you for. Well, you mean genocide is bad? <laughs> That said, maybe his parents should have done something more than just banish him and, you know, let him fester and all that, because, uh, yeah, I can't well, imagine you know, that would be good jail? for productivity. Yes! I, I, I mean, we say put him in jail and then we remember the first movie. So who voices are uh, Gary Oldman? Yes. Yeah, Gary Oldman. Who I'm sure will give this performance a very who subtle finally, touch. Yeah, who finally was given a great role in an animated film. It's about time. Wait, what, was... what, what bad roles was he in? The villain of Quest for Camelot. So yeah, this movie follows up from the first one, obviously. How, how many years does this take place in the universe? I, I don't think they tell us how long it's been since the first movie. Uh, it, it's been a while. Do you think they're uh, going to make more of these? Or are they, are they just... Okay. They were originally going to have six of these. 
I'm kind of glad they didn't go along with that because uh, because uh, after free, it felt like they were running out of steam. Yeah, Thank like, you. Uh, uh, okay, let me put it like this: free was a good movie, but I'm glad that they <laughs> took <laughs> as good as this one. Like, it was a big drop in quality from this one. The, it, I wouldn't it even call like... it. I wouldn't even call it a bad drop in quality. Like, it still is a great film. It's just that. It's well, good. oh, okay, okay, okay. Let me put it like this. This is like the Dark Knight of the trilogy, in the sense where this is arguably yeah. the sole movie that you would remember this trilogy for. Again, that's not to say that the Dark Knight trilogy is bad or anything. Well, okay, Dark Knight Rises is bad, but regardless, though, normally people are going to talk mainly about Dark Knight instead of Batman Begins, which is also itself a great movie. But again... Dark Knight is also in there as well. Dark Knight is just so good that it's the one that became legendary. That's it's just yeah. the same thing with this movie. Like Cook from yeah. one is a good movie, but this movie is just so much better. It's the one that people remember. I Have think that's I the... think that's part of why it was probably best to end it at free because this movie is just so good that it's gonna be hard to top. And you know what? A sequel doesn't always need to top a movie here and there, but. Sometimes, you know, when a studio you have becomes to realize where do you go from here? Not only <laughs> that, not only that, but if a studio becomes obsessed with trying to top their biggest classic, well, sometimes they end up doing just the opposite. And, and, and hell, even in terms of the of the of the of the thing about DreamWorks wanting to franchise this movie like mad, it it, it kind of reflects also on the the very last scene of this movie, which I don't care for, but but I will mention it when we get there. Have you guys heard about the alternate titles for this movie? No. no. Nope. Like, apparently, it was going to have... This was going to have a subtitle, you know, in addition to, you know, Kung Fu Panda 2 and that. There was... They had in mind uh, Pandemonium. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and then they also had The Kaboom of Doom. Anyway, so this dude... Yeah, like, I'm it, really it, glad that they didn't go with any of those. Yeah, but they, but they <laughs> gave up on that and uh, just called it Kung Fu Panda 2. Anyway, basically, the next phase of Poe's training is about finding inner peace, which, yep. which you know, Master here showed how to do with him maneuvering the droplet in the sense that, well, it didn't disperse. What this means in terms of the st yeah, what he's saying, the slightest taste in water. What this means in terms of story is that he needs to completely let go of any regrets slash uh, in internal demons he might have. A common thing trained <laughs> about in martial arts. God, she feels such a jerk. Love him. Oh no no no! Uh, she feels better now. I oh, know no no no! It's like he 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 means well. It's like it's like he he's 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 like a. Uh... Bruce and Batman Beyond, just cranky. In the meantime, all the all the actors from the first movie have returned to reprise their roles. Dustin Hoffman, Jack, Jack Black, the works. So I'm guessing this one also is your favorite villain of the trilogy. Well, are you kidding me? <laughs> of course. <laughs> I don't know. Can you really top J.K. Simmons now? I mean, I mean, okay, I'll admit, for as many problems as Kung, well, okay, not even problems, but. While Kung Fu Panda 3 isn't as good as this, I would argue one thing that it can rival in this is the villain. And it's not just mm. because he's voiced by J.K. Simmons. Like, I was... Good, don't get me wrong, but, uh, like, the, everything involving, uh, the villain of this one is just so... Better, because it's, it, it does affect Poe, whereas with Kai, it's just... Hi, I'm the new villain. How you doing? Voice well, by J.K. Uh, Simmons that I guess me an uh, instant nine. I do feel scale. like Kai did have some effects on Poe in regards to the conclusion of his journey and whatnot. Did I um? Yes, did I mention? Did I mention in the last? I, f I forgot because this has been a while since we did the first movie. Did I mention about how it was kind of funny that um that yeah two of the actors in this movie it's like they were it's like they were trying to repent for being in Shark Tale. Yep. You did. So yeah, probably. I mean, the... I mean, look. Some sometimes, it, it, I, I'm sure. I'm sure it's not the first time it's happened where like people in a DreamWorks movie were, you know, went on to <laughs> voice a different, a different and, set of films. And yes, so, as yeah. you can see, Poe is finally getting to live out his dream of fighting alongside the Furious Five. Yeah, he's so a dragon. Is... Since he's a dragon warrior, he leads uh, the other warriors. So it'd be the Furious Six. No, 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 no. He he fights with them, but they're still the Furious Five on their own in that sense. 
Like, the, uh, it, think about it like this. Think of him like being the Green Ranger. Like, yeah. he's technically a part of the team, possible. but but he's not really, you know, on the main team. Like, well, he still can do his own thing occasionally. And uh, no, 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 he's the White Ranger. He's just the leader and better than everyone by default. White Ranger was and, a and variation of, that, of Green one. Ranger. Oh, uh, yeah. have you guys um, have you guys heard of a of a guy named uh, Charlie Kaufman? Sounds no, familiar. No. He did stuff. He did stuff including uh, being John Malkovich, um, Human Nature, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, and uh, and so on. Oh, so is that yeah. To this though. Because he he apparently script doctored this movie. Huh. So I guess he gave it a few edits here and there and helped it become yeah, even better. Yeah, basically, script, what a script doctor is, it's like just basically polishing up the script to like, I don't know, sentences make more sense. So a proofreader. better. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think that was what Ian Flynn did for Invisible. And it's like what M. Like, M. Night Shyamalan did for She's All That. Wait. Oh my <laughs> god. What? So, M. Night Shyamalan Wait, was actually the quality control of a movie. Yeah, but she's well, all that even. I remember, Joe, this was back when people actually thought he was a genius. So, uh, yeah. So anyway, one thing so, I really... I've heard, I've heard just recent films, except for... No, 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 Okay, Old Sucked and Glass. I completely forgot about Old. Not well. Glass is horrible. That's, 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 that's. Before that, Glass torpedoed an entire trilogy. Yeah. In Glass both. is so bad. Ugh. Like, let me put it like this. As far as we've seen with Femme Night one, we're back to the quote-unquote good old days. Yeah, basically. Oh, Wait yeah. a minute, what is that symbol on his arm? Oh my god, 2D animation! I think this was in the first movie, though, wasn't it? There, there was a bit of it, it but uh, there was a bit of this one. Yeah. Oh, let me guess. They're all gonna hate Poe now because he knocked them over and broke their arms. No, no, no. No. Oh snap! Uh, Poe's actually acting serious. You, you know, you know. I, I I hate to be one of those people, but I wouldn't mind seeing a two D DreamWorks film in that style that we just saw. Well, well, that we we were originally gonna have a, sp a, a, a DreamWorks movie called Me and My Shadow, where the shadow uh, would be uh, to the animated. Uh, it was gonna be a, like a hybrid of both animations. Whoa. But then you know, I know everyone keeps bringing that up. It's like, oh man, the animation would've been good. It's like, okay, but what about the plot synopsis? Well, Do we know anything about that? Well, that I don't know. I was just answering your question about the. I know. I know. But, uh, but but what happened? The but the, again, Dwebs, Universal attacked. Okay, I thought, TV. I, thought, I, thought, I thought it was this. I thought, I thought you were gonna say it was this older project that they were gonna do, but then Sinbad flopped. Okay, no, 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 no. If I recall, it originally way after Sinbad, way after. If I recall correctly, wasn't it about them apparently having troubles with the plot or whatnot, and there was just something about the project that they weren't able to get off the ground in that regard? I guess maybe I'll have to like, look it if up. It was... If don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong. Enough, but... Don't get me wrong, right for as easy as it is to blame Universal on a lot of problems with DreamWorks, because they are responsible for a lot of crap we're getting nowadays, I don't know if we can entirely blame them DreamWorks for that. DreamWorks kind of spread itself on self-destruction. Uh, Thanks, Krasenberg. Uh, uh, listen here. I thought this day would never come. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Not that kind of origin story. I do like how this movie does address that, yes, Poe does know he could not have come from, you know, a goose. A goose. Oh, obviously. Well, obviously, Poe was adopted, obviously. But... Oh, that's just one thing, like, well, one thing people did raise about in the first movie was like, well, 
They never addressed it if he was a Oh. <laughs> yeah, see? Yeah, it's kind of obvious of that. Sorry. What I like is how the goose actually didn't think that he considered he was adopted. Like, uh-huh, yep, a panda totally came from a goose, which meant that something must have been rumbling on in the animal kingdom. <laughs> oh, yeah, here's what happened. He was found under a table in a box. Yeah, that's a yeah. red. That's a red. That's a, that's the main character of Red Dwarf's origin story. There you go. <laughs> Adorable. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, pandas do like. I mean, I mean, pandas do like to eat a lot. Come on, my dude! You're not just gonna leave a baby in a basket. Well, it's not my problem. Might as well. Yeah, don't eat that. Those taste awful. Well, you're the one. I hate pants. <laughs> yeah, um, also that. There, that's his actual full name, Xiao Po. Huh, funny, I'm watching a film based in them, um, based around Chinese uh, cultures since I watched uh, Shang-Chi earlier. Neat. I've been hearing good things about that movie. I enjoyed yeah. it. I mean, that's all he knows. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's, su that's the equivalent of supersized. I what it says here. What more could I you would order a dumpling that big, though, because those dumplings are really good. <laughs> I don't think we need to answer the question of why you didn't like pants. I just said your name. Your name is Poe. <laughs> so that's the so that's basically the plot. Poe is go is gonna try and find out uh, his origins. The only okay up until this point, the only scene that I've seen from this film is when they do a gag that we see in another in a superhero film a couple of years ago. I told you, I'm your boss. Stop attacking me. I'm not an intruder. I do like how always, whenever he shows up, there's this weird shade of red and white. It's very poignant, actually. It's that typical. He's a it, bad guy. Well, yeah, it's typical of visual uh, language in cinema. Um, the lighting changes to accommodate for the mood. It's like I'm watching the later seasons of the uh, original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon. Well, look at this way. At least it's, they still handle it more subtly than Page Master does. Oh yeah, that movie. Yeah, that exactly does. Thanks for supporting my point. And it's totally not a Trojan horse, I swear. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, it's going to part you all over the wall.
And people say you shouldn't take a bull by the horns. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. A, mar a, a kung fu peacock. Wielding a sword. Oh, and blades too, of course. That's why they call their streaming service Peacock. And he's dead. And, and, and there you go. As you can see, this peacock is hungry for blood. <laughs> like, seriously. Don't get me wrong. Tai Lung was intimidating, but, uh... Oh, boy. Uh, let's just say they find a way to ump the ante in this movie. That's it. Like, Lord Shen created a weapon that was able to penetrate the impenetrable armor of Rhino. In the world of this, that is, needless to say, a big deal. Well, yeah, all the more reason for you to save it, Poe. Go ahead. Inner peace, Poe. Inner peace. Mm. There you go. Listen to Captain Hook. <laughs> Oh god. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> you can't run away from your past, bro. You can't run away from your past. Hey, hey. I think it's more weird that the Mitch exists in the first place. Really? Uh, Why? He, actually, I think he made those himself. No, no, oh, no, no, really? no, 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 no. No, Pedro, that's actual action figures that he got. Oh, okay. Remember in the first movie, they even show how, you know, he compares Mantis's uh, figure to himself sure. about how it's the same size. Sure, hmm. sure. And they're T-posing. And you know, it's kind of my atonement for Shark Tale. It's a pretty long atonement, I thought I already atoned myself in the first movie, but... You know... He needed a little bit extra. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 Tigress is doing it as well. Notice how yeah. Perkin answer, uh... Yeah, Wait, his oh my god, uh, is that why people ship Poe and Tigress? Well, uh, shippers will ship anything that moves. That's, uh, well, uh, okay. I they can... will, they really will. But like yeah. that one ship that Deji uh, shared before. What? The uh, pearl with um, Rick. Mm -hmm. The pearl anyway. with who now? Rick. Uh, which pearl? Pearl Steven Universe with Rick and Morty Rick. Is it weird that I can kind of see where they're coming from on that, messed up as it is? No, I get how they get from A to B. It's just I didn't have to see that. <laughs> <laughs> Notice how Poe Kun respond to his father about like, well, well, he's like, I have to say, I'm the Dragon Warrior. If I'm not the Dragon Warrior, then who am I? Well, you're my son, and he couldn't even answer. Mm. Come on, it's, come it's on, like, Poe. Yeah. Come on, Poe. I thought it was like, uh, oh yeah, good point. <laughs> anyway, yeah, let's go to. I forgot the name of the kingdom. Actually, what's the name of the kingdom? Gongmen uh, City. That's it. There you go. 2D. Yeah. And yeah, like like the cast, um, we got the composing duo of Hans Zimmer and John Powell back for the, from the first movie. You know, can mm -hmm. I just say this? It's weird. Like, companies seem to know that people are hungry for 2D animation because they constantly sprinkle it in otherwise 3D or live action movies. To the point where I just wonder... If you guys know people are hungry for 2D animation, why aren't you just jumping more on 2D animation? That's the thing, Jova. Um, there's a difference between having a few scenes with 2D and a whole movie being 2D. And, as, and, and remember, Jova, you you know um, 
Teen Titans Go to the movies didn't do all that well, all things considered. Well, yeah, it did. Actually, no. Teen Titans Go did do well. Yeah, I was like, what are you talking about? I mean, compared to other animated movies. Yeah, that, no, it compared... still sold well, regardless. Dude, it, it, it made five times its budget. So yeah, Poe's getting his rear end kicked by a radish. Radish in the spot of that. Trip. That's that's one weird dream. Move a bit to the left, Pooh. Or Paul. Yeah, you could just move. Oh man, Kung Fu Panda starting Winnie the Pooh. That would be weird. It's funny because you know the whole Dao of Pooh and all that. <laughs> Which is interesting because in the same summer that this movie came out, Disney released their uh, final um, Winnie the Pooh film. No, 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 because we got Christopher Robin. Robin. Well, that's Christopher Robin. It's not a Winnie the Pooh movie. Well, not... that's still a Pooh same movie, franchise. technically. Yeah, I mean, same franchise. Like, I mean... Also, Poe in a piece is nice, but anger is also a valid emotion. Punch something if you want. Well, that's the thing, Shiro. I remember the whole thing with kung fu movies and the whole Chinese thing is is about the whole thing where inner peace. It's all you know. Inner peace um, is what allows a warrior to concentrate and uh, you know be able to feel in full control <laughs> of his body and his skill. But what, his but what if you're, you fo you use your anger to focus on the obstacle? Well, well, yeah, that's hey, if you don't deal with your issues, how can you find inner peace? Well, that's the well. He is going to do that, uh, Shiro. Uh, I know. Not, when they mean when they mean anger when they when they talk about badly about anger, what they mean is that they shouldn't let anger uh, dominate them. That's what they mean. They never said that. Never said specifically never to feel angry ever again. Oh no! Yeah, I know. No, nobody said that you did. Yeah, I I do feel like sometimes the films do try to use anger as a toxic trait, but it's like no, you can use your anger for good. It's a it's an emotion. Also, it's when anger gets to a certain point that it becomes toxic. But yeah, go yes. on, Bruce. Also, apparently, um, this movie, um, in terms of like the awards, um, it apparently lost out quite a few of them, at least to um, Rango, which also came out that year. Ooh, oh, that right. was a great movie. Let me, let me hear you. Starting to get about a self reflection, Tigress. <laughs> That's self Rogan, right? Yes. <laughs> also, yeah, also, yeah, even in this universe where animals are more sentient, praying mantises still eat the husbands. Pretty. Oh, uh, welcome to the animated adaptation of Planet of the Apes. And now it is. Well, I mean, mate, you did <laughs> try to commit genocide, so, uh... That's the thing. Despite him being deadly, he still does have moments for funny bits as well, too. But no, seriously, despite every joking bits of him, do not be fooled. He is hardcore as all hell. Yeah, 
<laughs> I see you because you're in the way of the bowl. Wow, look, her prediction came true. Ho <laughs> So we got quite possibly the most useless fortune teller ever. Oh, no, 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 no. She can fortune tell well, but she obviously ain't in the mood to help him. That said, you know, might as well. Uh, uh Jovi, you guys mentioned, um... You know, oh! People shipping... You mentioned people shipping Poe and Tigris. Yes. Um, well, I can tell you two others who also ship them. Um... Gilberto Del Toro and Angelina Jolie. <laughs> I mean, I can kind of see where they're coming. This is the time where Del Toro was producer on a few DreamWorks movies. Honestly, like, in... <laughs> like I said, I'm not entirely surprised that Poe and Tigris are, you know, shipped. I kind of do see where it's coming from. It's just that it's kind of funny given how originally Angelina Jolie played a gold digger that well, okay, it wasn't so much romancing Jack Black's character, but you know, it was obviously well, a bad was romancing guy. Jack Black's best friend. Well, that's the yeah. thing, because, uh, Joe, I, I'm pretty sure most people tend to forget that uh, Shark Tale even exists. I can't. Uh, no, you don't. No, 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 no. Shark Tale lives rent-free in a lot of people's heads. I, I still guess, like it. I guess maybe for, maybe for memes, I guess, but back in 2011, memes weren't even a thing. Uh, yes, yeah, they were. Yes, they were. As uh, they are now. Yeah, yeah, like, be, uh, let's be honest, yes, people do still remember Shark Tale. And like I said, I personally still have a soft spot for it, but I do see how it's incredibly dated. Like I said, Shark Tale was the perfect movie made for 2004 specifically. But the minute we got out of 2004, uh, sorry, the moment we got out of 2004, <laughs> it became dated. <laughs> sorry. Go on. Yeah. Solid Poe, everybody. <laughs> yeah, the you problem is that there's no cardboard box here, though. Yes, you know, Poe, sure. maybe your approach should be walking in like you own the place. Remember, Shiroi, um... Uh, well, actually, no, he, he's not a ninja, so that wouldn't work. Um, hmm. I guess the idea here is, is to cause a commotion. That wolf was literally looking in to get some action. Of course, gotta have that dragon. Nothing to see here. Look where you're going when you're driving the dragon. Yeah, yeah, the, the last thing we need is something like that episode of Doctor Who where the guys in the costume didn't have any time to rehearse and as they were walking in it, they could, it hadn't even, the stuff hadn't even dried so there was sniffing paint <laughs> and glue. Come here. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh no, sir, our men have been eaten. <laughs> No, it's okay. He got pooped out. Yep. <laughs> well, that kid's gonna need therapy. It ate two people! But, sir, they came out the other end. 
But yeah, one thing that this film excels at marvelously is the, well, action choreography on all events. Like, yeah, yes. obviously, mm -hmm. but I don't know. This film is extra creative about it, but also still, you know, technical with it, too. Waka, 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 waka. <laughs> no, or it's a More snake. Like snake. Yeah. Well, I think it's a combination of Pac-Man and Snake. <laughs> well, I, I guess that's true. Well, there's your cardboard box, I guess. Barrels. Thanks, Jackie Chan. Yeah, apparently, uh, one criticism of the previous movie is that Jackie Chan barely had any lines, so they gave him more here. Yeah, I mean, considering how he was a very advertised Part person. Part of the movie yeah. that is kind of... Yeah. Yeah, or, or, or Tigers could just do that. Uh... Uh. He does have a bit of a point, though. Like, Shen is, needless to say, a madman. So, like, well, if they just break out right there and then, there's nothing stopping him from turning the weapon on everyone. Uh, this is a interesting fight scene. They're fighting the people they're supposed to be saving. Well, well Tigress isn't, but... Uh... Turns out I just did. Yeah, it was just good. Oh. Just going to another one. <laughs> well, yeah, they did only say this one, so. Damn. <laughs> Poor Poe. He finally gets to be the Dragon Warrior, only to, only for the bad news to be that Kung Fu is dead. Like. That's robbery. That's like finally becoming a billionaire, only it turns out, no, you need to be a quadrillionaire to make it. No, 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 only for it turns out that the economy has crashed. <sighs> or getting a job. Uh, going to college, get the job of your dreams or a recommendation, and then change of management happens and you're forced to work in maintenance. That's very specific. That monster's at work. Have not gotten around to seeing that. It's good. I've heard it as a good first half, but apparently the second half's a bit weaker, but then it all gets salvaged by the final episode. I don't know. I'd say give it a watch. Yeah. Not gonna lie, this looks like it can make a pretty great ride at Universal Studios. I was gonna say watch out, but then he runs into a wall. I mean, yeah, you're right. I'd, I'd go for a Kung Fu Panda ride over a, you know, 
over a what? I was going to say maybe a Spider-Man ride, but yeah. There, <laughs> there already is a Spider-Man ride at Universal Studios. I'd rather have Kung Fu Panda. These children have a death wish. Yes. yes, of course they do. Oh. Is that what... Maybe that was what Kung Fu Panda 4 was going to be about. The, the death wish of children? children? Maybe. <laughs> or maybe they're grown up and they still have that uh, death wish. Oh, boy. Really tragic that happened. Imagine if just one of those kids had died. This would have become a much more. <laughs> this would have become a much darker then film. We would have, then we'd probably be getting Kung Fu Panda Civil War or something. Oh God, you're right. There goes Tigress. Skadoosh. She gave him a butt bouncer, so that's why people ship him. <laughs> bunk, bunk, bunk. Oh no! You're, well, you're in a city. Why are the signs hanging so low then? Because they're dicks. Way to use the environment to your advantage. Ooh! Oh, yeah, that... he's he, he's he... dead. Yeah, I was. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, a whole army of angry dogs wolves technically but yeah surrender yeah <laughs> Well, it's not well, like I mean, there was much more to come. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, continuity. Yep. Well, I mean, this movie does acknowledge the first one a lot, so... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, but it's a sequel to it, so... Yeah, so... If, yeah. Plus, it's not like... It's not like DreamWorks' other stuff where, um... Well, okay, other stuff that isn't How to Train Your Dragon, where it's not... Where, the, where there isn't much of a continuing story. I do like how, despite how she's sarcastic about it, the soothsayer never really does lie even to the villain, like... What she says is all true. It's just about of maybe minding her advice. I also like how she's not having any of his bullshit. Like, I'm surprised he doesn't just ask, Okay, if I keep going with the plan as is, what will happen at the end? I mean, you know, technically, maybe she knew this was to come, Shiroi. Yep, the scene of where Rhino got blown up. You know, again, I gotta say kudos to that one-eyed wolf. He's a trooper considering how he literally got slammed first, face first, into stone gravel. And also, as for continuity, oh, yes. I mean, the writers of the first movie are back for this one, so... Pose number one enemy. Stairs. stairs. I mean, stairs do suck, so... Alright, here you go. Here he comes. <laughs> My most fearsome <laughs> enemy. A knackered panda. Being carried by a gorilla. This huge guy is carrying a real competitor. <laughs> This is not how I expected things would be going.
It's ma'am to you. They are a goat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, sworn enemy? Over here? No? Acknowledge me. I mean, I'm, I'm played by Carrie Oldman here. I was in the dark night. Uh, yes, yes, you were. Wait a minute, I remember Gary Oldman. You were the guy who faked being a dwarf in tiptoes. <laughs> Plus, you were underneath the ogre's butt. <laughs> also, hey. you were in that one movie where you say everyone. I forgot what it's called. Pedro? What? What's the movie called? Uh, I don't know. Oh, shoot, I thought you did. Oh, also, Mr. Oldman, you were that, uh, Mr. Smith guy from, uh, oh, uh, Lost in Space, Lost in Space. yes. Leon the Professional. Yeah, I just spilled the beans, dude. Oh, that's the movie's name. Do not assume her gender, Cretan. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. A peacock that's defeated by something black and white. Was the soothsayer predicting their streaming service being defeated by HBO Max? Apparently, Peacock has more users than HBO Max. So why is Peacock such the laughing stock where a lot of people seem to be praising HBO Max? I... I also don't know. Wait. Boop! <laughs> So what you're saying is that, I mean, apparently Peacock is, uh, oh. <laughs> not a failure? The bug wasn't no, because I, I know that HBO Max wants to rebrand itself because they feel like the name was confusing for people. Oh, I get that. Oh, so like with, so like with uh, CBS All Access turning to Paramount+. Plus. So yeah, give, so yeah, give Poe credit. He actually did think ahead with the switcheroo on Mantis. All right, it's time for the fight. Panda versus Peacock. Bit early oh. for that though, isn't it? Oh, snap. Poe? Nah, I've never, I've never really been big on this trope, to be honest. What? Well, it's true. Oh, we're winning the fight, but we can't have a win. Yeah, I know. We'll just use this thing they're afraid of. Well, he didn't know. That just it just sparked the PTSD. Oh, but it was snap. something that sparked Poe, like a hidden yeah. memory that he didn't know. And to it's be like, fair, it's fine in this context, I think. And to be fair, Dubs, unlike worse examples, this one actually was foreshadowed, as opposed to something that just comes out of nowhere because we need to extend the plot. So yeah, it turns out Shen had more of those cannons. That's not good for us. Well, that's it. That was Kung Fu Panda 2. That's the third one, with, so we know it's, uh, it's gonna be fine. Well, yeah, my father, we know the third one could be a prequel, like in Devil May Cry Furry. Or Little Mermaid. This is 2011, we didn't know there was gonna be a third one. Wait, 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 what do you mean Little Mermaid? Wait, you don't know about Ariel's <laughs> beginning? The third Little Mermaid what? movie is a prequel. Oh! <laughs> wait, 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 dead. <laughs> you seriously he don't- He actually doesn't know! Oh, <laughs> wow. Okay. Let me put it this way, Edge. It explains why King Triton's so overprotective in the first movie, but that's pretty much the only thing it has going for it. 
And Bas- it doesn't do a good job of even doing that. Basically, Dads, the plot of Ariel's beginning is that music is outlawed in the kingdom, which, yeah, you immediately know they're going to have to solve that because the first movie literally starts with them having a concert. Well, okay, I'll be, I'll be fair to Deji. By the time it came out in 2008... The direct-to-DVD sequels were on the way out. Well, in fact, that one was the very last one. What a way to end. Yeah. Or, or, or maybe, I just, maybe like I heard about it once and I didn't look into it. I'll well, just I mean, say this. Just, I'll just least, say... At least the last one wasn't like, uh, I don't know, something like Mulan 2 or something. I'll just say this. It had a decent villain, but they had such a missed opportunity to make that villain be Ursula. Now, the reason I'm surprised he hadn't heard of it is because of how crap it is. Yeah, look at that. The year of the peacock begins now. Huh. I, I tweeted about it twice, and I and I you know what? I I know why because it's like, huh? No one's ever heard of it. Neither have I. Wait, don't ne- you never heard don't of what? Clover, don't you dare I just got... insult my year. I remember that being talked about when it first came out that year, but. Why do I say I get it? I'm going, I'm going. Also, you say that he only gets half a year, but what if he's actually six months early? Then that would be one and a half years. It starts at the end of this so year. So it's kind of like the universe. So it's kind of, it's kind of like the end of prep. So it's kind yes. of like Nintendo's year of Luigi, where it extended beyond the year it was started. Yes. Yes. As I until we say it does. Well, minor setback. Bull crap. Oh, come on. Well, I mean, that is kind of the truth. Oh boy. Yeah, yeah, well, they're gonna, like she's gonna fall for that. Let's be real, Poe's holding back. Well, yeah, no. obviously. That too. Well, oh, okay, okay, okay. It's a few factors. Like, it's... thematically, what the, oh. the point of the movie. Oh. It's a few factors. One, maybe he's holding back, but also he's attacking, obviously, in a bout of anger. Not like outright rage, but. He definitely does not have his crap sorted out at the moment. So Whereas he Tiger, would... Whereas Tiger says in her piece, so. And that's the thing. The fact that he's not even willing to tell them what the problem is. Well, yeah. Well, he just did. <laughs> they thought she was going to kill him. Oh, well, yeah, she's going to strangle him right now. Nope, just a good hug. <laughs> again i think one thing i really do like about this movie is just showing the very way to the villain again tai long that was a great first one this is a villain who has literally broken some of the most unbreakable soldiers and well Poe, to quite an extent. (laughs) 
You got issues, my dude. You do know what happens to those who question the authority and plans of the villains. No, 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 I'm sure Jeffrey Katzenberg is very proud of you, Peacock. But they had a very funny way of showing it. Oh, so sending him away is what killed them. Well, it's nice to know he's not weighed down by the past, at least. Or so he says, though, Jova. Huh. Well, at least he let her go, as opposed to subjugating yeah. her. Let's not forget that scene uh, that felt very petty, where he was looking at his, fa at his father's, uh, uh, um, you know... Uh, Throne, and then he did it. Like, oh, I remember when I was sitting here as a kid. Put away. <laughs> Yeah, clear, clearly no, clearly no daddy issues whatsoever. Oh yeah, none whatsoever. Now watch this as he burns down his father's kingdom and takes over the world. <laughs> well, that will happen. A bit of puppetry. Oh, I, thought, I thought he was going to turn them into, like, sock puppets. <laughs> and, and then pretend they're like, yeah, yeah, do, do something like that. They're wolves, not dogs. Uh, aren't wolves related to dogs? Yes, but still. For some reason, the years are it's what they're related to cats. I don't know why. Hi hyenas? Yeah. Well, you see, I just I'm went. I guess it's like he's gonna. This is like the whole for him. It was Tuesday thing. You see, I took a stroll, and I saw how your parents abandoned you. Got a chain? How very specific. Yes. Man, wouldn't it be hilarious if all the pandas knew how to fight before before beforehand? Uh, anyway. Uh, no, no. And, and by the way, Bo, here's my little secret. What what's what's um, the father's name, Dench? Brian Cranston. Let me look it up. Well, now you've ruined it. The timing is ruined. No, don't bother. Lee. His name is Lee. <laughs> eh, whatever. Timing is ruined at this point. Hmm. Which was going to be Gary Oldman was actually his father. <laughs> <laughs> this may be some of the most intense exercise that he has gotten. Well, uh, oh. Just hang in there, boy. You were that close, you should have been turned into dust. Wait for it. There we go. <laughs> Speaking of ruined timing. Yeah, yeah, you see, you see, uh, Pedro, I was just following the tone. Mm-hmm.
and developed it. I think you're projecting. Oh, snap. Yeah, that's this is this isn't about Poe, is it? Yeah. Oh, oh. Well, I have to uh, say, although, although his parents did love Shen. Mm-hmm. Well, not, not from his perspective. Well, you know, I have to, I have to say, Lord Shen, that way of healing, I have some notes about the methodology. I don't know. It seems like something that doesn't seem very well tested, honestly. Shifu sense a disturbance in the Force. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a Are you talking about so Kung Fu Panda? It's just Kung Fu Star Wars. No. Well, Star Wars did take insp- was was partly inspired by old um, kung fu movies, actually. Oh, I thought it was some... inspired by westerns. That too. Uh, oh. was, Star Wars actually has a lot of uh, inspiration: Seven Samurai, uh, old westerns, like you said, uh, even some kung fu stuff, like in, like for example, the whole the old mentor uh, trope that originated in old kung fu movies. Yeah, that's cool. I have to say, Poe, you're doing relatively fine for somebody who got, well, cannonballed. So what's with the acupuncture? Oh, remember, he had that, it's to help uh, him heal better. I oh, remember, he had that plate thingy. Uh, um, that you know, was like... an amazingly strong plate, let me tell you. Well, it was particularly of well fine construction quality, okay? Maybe that part should have been the next Keyblade. Ooh. Headache. Kind of. <laughs> Could be both. Lovely. I see 2D drawings in the oh. sink. And then, and then, uh, oh, there we go. At least, but these are so beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes, they are. Like, okay, I'm not going to act like all companies do this, but am I the one who feels like sometimes the 2D animation bits are used as, like, gimmicks to draw in an audience? Not to say that it, not to say that it robs them of their quality and value. Like, for the most part, they still are there. But again, I sometimes I wonder... If a studio is like, oh, let's just put in this 2D animation to attract the customers. Not so much for this movie. This one, it feels like it does have a good point and purpose. But then there are some more Boyden examples like Aladdin 2019, which, yeah, let's be honest. We're probably only putting that 2D animation in for the people who are 2D Uh, animation buffs. I, I guess, I don't know. I feel like. Most people nowadays care about CGI more than 2D, which is a bad thing. But, and, like, if you look uh-huh. at all the promotion for Space Jam 2, uh, like, most of it was the Looney Tunes and CGI. But then when you watch mm. the actual movie, it's like, no, it's mostly a 2D animated film for oh. the most part. He's remembering. Let it flow. Shut up. <laughs> Get in the corner. No. It's, I. It only works if I say the exact lyrics. And there you go. Inner peace. That's the only way I can find closure. So yeah, it was. I think it was pretty obvious. Oh, the yeah, the 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 
Harris never walked. <laughs> like I said, Dwebs, I'm pretty confident that was just Shen projecting. <laughs> and, and, and manipulating Poe to throw him off guard. That too. What's that? The villain lies? Sorry, Poe, we're gonna have to pull a Bambi on your mother. Poe is now a Disney protagonist. So You're a you princess, Poe. Just like four is. Nah, I Loki by an extension. Nah. Wait a minute. Thor and Loki at Disney princesses? Well, sorry. <laughs> have you seen a meme that pretty much mentions how how four pretty much checks off all the boxes that the Disney princesses mention in Wreck It Ralph two on what it takes to be a Disney princess? Dead parents, magic hands, uh, kidnapped relatives. Uh, Major family issues, dealing with a curse and whatnot, magic MacGuffins, and, well, yeah, Forza yeah, Disney sure. Princess. Well, he, he is a Disney princess. Well, yeah, but he pretty much ticks all the boxes when you get right down to it. Again, it's not just about what you lose in the past, but what you gain in the future it's and present. It's all about family. <laughs> so who are you, Panda? Uh, Poe. <laughs> I'm the goddamn dragon warrior. Yeah, exactly, yeah, I, I told you. <laughs> So yeah, meanwhile the Furious Five got captured. Again. You know, for the for for a group of people called the Furious Five, you sure tend to get captured a lot. Okay, wh where's the correlation? Yeah, like I feel like <laughs> well, it would have. I guess, well, I guess you can't be. Maybe, maybe, maybe you can't be all that furious if you. I could work better if you say. No, you sure get tamed a lot instead of being furious. I think it better. I don't know. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, here's how it would have been if you wanted to use the furious angle. For a group called the Furious Five, you sure do look sad. Given what. Yeah, there he goes. Good job. Well, at least, at least Tigress just looked really pissed off, so that doesn't really work. Just coming through here with a war proclamation. Yep, just trying to take over all of China. Never, no, 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 nothing serious. Well, I mean, it's a better. I mean, I mean, it, it's a better China could end up being killed by somebody oh. popping the new land too. You see, Mantis didn't imagine he died like this. He'd imagine that he'd die after meeting a nice girl who would eat his head because, yes, praying mantises are like that. Mm -hmm. Imagine that. You finally find the perfect woman and then she eats your head. And people say the animal kingdom is perfectly innocent and we humans are the only monsters. Oh, God. Whoever says that is insane. We're, we're not helping things, but it's like, nah. <laughs> Have you seen what the dolphins can do? Wait a minute, oh, who's this? It's a ghost! It's the Mandalorian. Look at that, he even has Raiden's hat. Okay, right, here we is, go. This is, the, this is the scene I've seen before, and I, I love it. How many times do I have to kill you? What after this one? Here we go. So, Poe, what do you have to say? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> project, Poe, project. Only in a movie like this could you have a funny interaction between a man and the man who killed his entire race and have <laughs> this kind of funny scene work. Yeah, well, I mean, it's, I mean, it makes sense. He's far away. Yeah, Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Poe, you're not Kung Lao. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, on with the parade, he'll take half yeah. a day to get here. <laughs> just have did that joke as well, it was just as funny there, so... Just kill, just kill him and put him out of his misery. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. I love Excuse how... me, I dealt with my trauma, now I'm gonna cause you physical trauma. 
Take aim. Would you please stand still so I can aim at you? Uh... I thought you knew how to aim this thing, guys. Jeez. Uh, guys, he's he's literally a big target. A big target who can move fast enough. Not really. No, 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 no. Like, well, when he's actually trying, he can move very fast, actually. At least they were smart enough to put out their cannon before it shot each other. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Good, good, good. You can yeah. think on your feet. That works. He's gonna Indiana Jones it. We just need a plan. Just make it up as you go along. Not everyone can have the Batman plan of prep time. When did this movie come out? 2011. Hmm. Hey, Shifu! Man, I can't believe Poe has two fathers. Or maybe he has three. Like, you know, one of his dads may be dead, but at least he has his adopted father and Shifu as father figures. Yeah. Hey, that looks like fun. I mean, it sucks to be on the boat when that's happening, but, you know... Just be cool. Trailer shot. Now he's really living the dream. <laughs> and even slowed down what he just said. But our own mooks! He has standards. Oh! Uh, yeah, oh. oh, it just murdered him! <laughs> with, with his quills! Oh, shoot. Well, uh, well again, that was Kung Fu Panda 2. Uh... No! We're still alive! One of these days, that, that joke's gonna work. <laughs> I guess technically Alpha and Omega 2. Well, that's kind You've already of... done that, right? I remembered it. That was kind that's of the always whole... a generation's thing. commentary. No, that thank was... you. Sorry, Pedro. That was kind of the whole point of the ending of Holy Grail. And then they get arrested. The end. The end. <laughs> Again, that was mainly because they ran out of budget at the time, but I guess work with what you can do. Yep. Time to do what you gotta do. Wouldn't it be funny if he just got extra petty and named it Tigress instead of Poe? I mean, I would. I mean, I would, I would. I would kind of fit his MO. Oh yeah. What now, Panda? Well, I'm gonna do what any. I will make do. you suffer just as I suffered. I'm gonna kill all your family and then you. You already killed all my family. Your extended second family, then. Seriously, wasn't one genocide enough? Fine, I'll go to your house and kill your adopted father as well. Why not? That is extremely I'll kill helpful. everybody to love. And then you last. There you go. Don't try this at home, kids. 
Because for as great as inner peace is to, is to have, I'm not sure if it can stop ammunition in real life. Imagine that cannonball was a lovely I drop. If I got episodes of The Simpsons where Homer gets Ooh, struck in the uh, there you go, stomach by a ball. Want to try again? <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Yeah, you're not, uh... You're not Scorpion. Not the human torch. You had an entire ocean to dip your hand in. Yeah, let's, uh, let's try that again, shall we? Oh, snap. Throw it back at them. There we go. Hey. Maybe we should stop firing? No. His big mistake was attacking in anger. Oh snap, I was a waterbender. And also a cannonball. Yin yang. <laughs> Get it? Yeah, the black and white will defeat him. Oh boy. There we are. See, sure, he was waiting for the bigger ball to do it. Ah, I see. But it's okay, because Po, unlike uh, Shen, who will resort to violence and killing, Po is, of course, the good guy, so he's going to try to convince Shen to stop this war before we kill more people. So, don't worry, guys. I'm sure Po will be able to use his diplomacy skills to fix this. Let's go. Maybe he'll get through to him. Let's see. <laughs> I was the and Joker to your Batman. The would make me worse than you are, so uh, yeah. <laughs> I hear scars kill Mufasa's. Get out! <laughs> how you, how you go? I choose to yes. be the killer. You're of right. You. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, he did choose what he wants to be now. So... Hey, good counseling advice, Bo. Thanks, Bo. <laughs> Although honestly, he'd already killed plenty of people. It's a bit too late for you know diplomacy. We're just gonna make some fried chicken. More like uh, I wouldn't say that. He just had to go to jail and try to do some good from there. I, I don't know. You know, I might have just moved a bit, but oh. Oh, bollocks. So, well, I mean, how... At least, it was, at least it was his ship and yeah, I've already done that. So Would you got... say that Poe and Shen are two sides of the same coin? Well, yeah, that's the whole yeah. thing of this movie. <laughs> so, uh, how do you like that fried chicken? Extra crispy? That's the whole thing that they're just like, uh, po uh, the, 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 the two uh... characters. The two characters have the same tragedy of, of uh, basically losing their family and they handled it in, in opposite ways. So, yes, they are two sides of the same coin. You help too. Uh. Uh. Yeah, yeah, bastard. Hey, let's have fireworks over the dead guy's corpse! Yay! Yay! <laughs> Yay! We killed someone! Woo! Let's celebrate! I mean, he tries to kill us all, but that's perfectly justified to dance on his grave. Maybe he shouldn't be a remember, remember guys, it's garbage. We remember used his body for the bonfire. Yes. Remember, guys, it's King's Quest logic. It's okay to kill someone as long as they're bad. Oh. 
No, 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 no. We don't talk about the little panda here. I brought radishes. They don't give him nightmares. Although, Pedro, how funny would it be if the little panda was canon to this? Because that would mean Dan Green is technically a part of his universe. Hmm. Would you say Little Panda was Dan Green's best performance ever, or...? No, that would be Yugi, of course. Uh, <laughs> that would be Yami yeah, Yugi, of course. But... The video no, became it would be really anyone's best performance. It is completely destroyed. But it's okay, because as he was about to say... I mean, yeah, all things considered. I nearly died three times, by the way. Try not to worry. Well, the found family is still family. Ah, he got the old doll. All right, so now here comes uh, the scene that literally let me confused in the theater. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. uh, the end. Gorgeous golden ray animation as we what zoom is this? up. Lion King? <laughs> no. Seriously. What? Seriously, Sorry, seriously. Cannot... Seriously, the the movie is about to kind of pull a Lion King. Hey! Turns out some of the pandas survived. Including Looks like pandas weren't extinct. Including Poe's father. And the movie just ends like that. Like I oh, said, okay. the movie... Yeah, I think it was, well, I'm guessing it's a sequel. It was, and it was such a goddamn yeah, obvious I know, sequel. I feel like... Maybe that should have been a post credit scene or something. It, uh... Well, okay, okay, okay. Uh, I'll, um... I'll talk about it in my, in my final thoughts. Go on, whoops. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it's definitely a huge improvement over the, uh, the first one. I mean, this, this one is a more, uh... More, more focused plot than the first one. I mean, it's just, I mean, I mean, it's interesting because it's the same writers as the previous one. I'm guessing, um, I'm guessing Jennifer and Nelson um, wanted a bit more consistency compared is... to the last one. More yeah. so that they, she wanted to up the ante. Also, yeah, yes, this so. credit scene is technically showing how Poe made his way all the way from, you know, close to Gangman City to eventually the city where he would grow up. Yeah. So, again, don't try this at home, kids. When you bounce, you, won't, you don't bounce if you hit a volcano, if you hit volcanic eruptions. Mm hmm Yeah. You, you will die. Um... Yeah, and, uh, yeah, that's, that's the best part of the, the film, really, the story. Oh, yeah. I mean, John Clark Van Damme was in this. I mean, the comedy's a lot better, too, you know, especially with the whole, uh, especially with the bit near the, uh, near the, you know, with, with that's just almost at the final part of the, almost the final fight scene, where he's like, they can't, he, he makes his, you know, Poe makes this huge epic speech, but no one could, barely anyone can hear him. Because, <laughs> you know, he's way up high and way far away. And the villain's also a huge improvement for the first movie. Yeah, well, I mean, I do. I, I, I can't really remember the name of the previous villain or this one. Tai either. Lung. But, uh, but, he, but he's, he's a lot. He has more of an impact because you know he's trying to, he's trying to massacre everybody and uh, try to take over the world using and he's an all-powerful weapon. And he's and he's fun. Fun. Yeah, plus you know, you, you know Gary Oldman helps in that front as well. Um. So yeah, that's that's about it really. I haven't got much else to uh, much else to add. Um, it's a really good movie and um, and yeah, it it, it definitely helped uh, DreamWorks uh, get on top in terms of uh, 
you know, the, the battles between them and Pixar, you know, the two usual DGI uh, combatants. Mm-hmm. And, um, and that's another thing as well. And technically, this means they also triumphed over Disney with Winnie the Pooh, or at the box office at least. What? Well, remember, Joe, but Winnie the Pooh was a box office bomb. So. Oh, and it came yeah. out the same year this did. I mean, it's an amazing movie, again, but of again. course Disney had to be busy and put it up against Harry Potter. Yeah. Again. So they learned nothing from Treasure Planet. Nope. Anyway, uh, you done, Glips? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm done. All right, I'll go next. Um, okay, yeah, it's an awesome movie. It's a movie, whereas Poe would say, this movie's full of awesomeness. <laughs> um, the comedy's great, the story's uh, very well thought out, and uh, the, the themes are really good. The characters are great. The villain is awesome. Like, he has a fantastic backstory. He, like, his duality with Poe is uh, great. And, it's, and, and the movie's just overall, it's a lot of fun as well. The only, like, see, this movie would be perfect if it wasn't for that final scene that I don't care for because... One of the cool things about this villain is the fact that he supposedly genocides the entirety of the pandas with Poe being the last survivor. So the fact that his father, even his father is still alive, kind of undermines that for me because like, uh, it's like they didn't have the balls to, 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 uh, oh, see kids, like the, the, the peacock killed all the pandas and he didn't survive, but no, they have to, they have to, oh, so never mind, never mind kids, the, the pandas are okay. I don't know. Like I don't oh, like. Uh, can, 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 can I can I add to this? Go on, if you don't mind. I'm fine with having some pandas survive, but it's just like okay. I thought it was he killed his parents. No, it's like oh no, his dad's alive. Kind of kind of feels. It's like the writers I mean, chickened out at the last if, minute. I okay, oh, oh, okay, 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 c- okay. If I may, plan. Okay. The plan, how the plan was executed is up for interpretation. But they, it wasn't like, oh, we are, uh, we, we, we didn't want to chicken out. It's like, no, this was deliberate sequel hook. And for I what? just felt like, just, just me, but I kind of felt like the message would have been better if it was just Poe by himself. Poe, yeah. uh, like he did find a family within, you know, the Furious Five. Shifu and and the, the noodle man, I forgot his name. Mm-hmm. If I may, I'm with Dead in that level. I don't think they chickened out. It's more so that they always had this planned as a sequel because, again, that scene feels more like a blatant sequel hook than anything else. I'm personally okay with some panda surviving and rebuilding, like. I mean, and to be fair, that's a common element in a lot of genocide plots. You're like, always there's going to be those who get away and then form a secret society or whatnot. Heck, I'm even okay with Poe's father being alive as well, because technically, the only one who we sh- who was shown to absolutely be dead was the mother. I do feel like the issue is like, well, it's kind of like the just their moment in the sense that like I said, they pull the Lion King, but without really explaining, wait, how does the father sense that his son is alive? Like, it's not like we even saw some bits that Poe touched, like, you know, with Simba. It's like, no, suddenly the father can just tell his son is alive conveniently after all that's happened. Like, oh, conveniently after he's uh, beaten our greatest foe, I can now tell he's alive. <laughs> not to mention it's incredibly poor timing because the whole point and what makes that scene at the end so heartwarming is of course the fact that Poe doesn't care anymore about his past. He doesn't care anymore that he lost his family. He has his own family now. There's a, it doesn't matter. Uh, the fact that uh, and as a result, the fact that uh, um, that he lost his parents to to Shen's rage doesn't uh, bother anymore we even have like i love you father and i love you son and then right after that uh oh never mind both father is alive and it undermines that ending like uh, like uh, the, the, that ending feel, uh, would have all the full punch if you genuinely commit to the parents okay fine you want to have some of the parents panda survive uh at least keep the father dead because i feel like again remember it's, it's like it's like shen said there at the end i killed your parents you know like that's the whole thing you know that was the whole point of Poe not letting that get the better of him. Yeah, okay, you killed my parents, but I'm not going to let that. Um, I'm not not going to let that dictate what I do and and, and rule my life. I'm like, it's it, it, it's all in the past. 
I uh, just let's let's just forget about it and move on. But of course, uh, Shen is not capable of it because he's not he doesn't have inner peace. Um, mm -hmm. So the fact that they immediately, right after the "I'm your son" moment, they immediately show Poe's father alive. Like it's it's such poor timing. Now, like you you immediately undermine uh, Poe's uh, Poe's uh, ability to let go of his parent of his parents' supposed death. Now, to give Kung Fu Panda free credit, I feel like it did deal with the situation in the best way possible by establishing that, no, we're not going to throw out the message of Kung Fu Panda 2. Like, I feel like, okay, it may not be perfect, but I feel like Kung Fu Panda 3 found arguably one of the better compromises you could sure. in maintaining, you know, the punches of uh, Kung Fu Panda 2's bits. Like, sure. to be fair, the mother is still absolutely dead, and Shen mm -hmm. was there to see to her execution. And they do go into the weight of it Sorry. as well. Again, like I'm saying, I guess part of why, okay, maybe, okay, maybe back when I first saw this movie, I did raise my eyebrows at it. I guess the reason I'm more okay with it is because Kung Fu Panda Free managed to handle things in a way that was tasteful. And thank God for that. Like, I've seen so many trilogies go down in flames with, well, the third movie following up on a bad idea from an otherwise awesome and perfect middle movie to then, well, train wreck everything. Sure, sure. But the thing is, the thing is, like glass. There you go. We were talking oh, about glass. God, there. glass. <laughs> but um, no, see, here's the thing. Like, no, no, no. Good Confound of Free is a good movie. It's just that uh, you know this one is so awesome. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like uh, that, it, that it, it it is still it's still a good movie on its own merits. It's just that compare in comparison to this is a is a huge downgrade because uh, it's a good movie for what it is. It's just that you know like um, it. it it it's a victim of this movie's greatness because uh, this so movie was saying, so awesome. So what you're saying is they're suffering from success. Yeah, they're a victim. The, uh, the Free is basically the franchise being a victim of its own success. Yes, because uh, this movie raised the bar so high. It, and it the really third, did. And the third one didn't really meet that bar. It's a good movie on its own merits. It's just it's just a clearly a downgrade from the second one. But, it's, uh, uh, but uh, well. It's, I'll be for what it is. Yeah. And like I said, like I said, yes, it will be handled fine in the third movie. So it's not all bad. I just really wish they would have committed to, to at the least the father dying. I feel like both parents should have died. Okay, fine. You want to keep the pandas for a third movie? Okay, fine. Um, but but the, come on, let the let the I killed your parents, uh, remark. Fully, uh, get, let it keep its entire weight. Come on, it's just like uh, that way. It makes the um, pose, um, pose, ex pose uh, achievement of inner peace even more satisfying. Uh, not to mention, like that she said earlier. But when you while Kung Fu Panda Free is a good movie, you can tell it, they were starting to struggle for what to do at this point because Poe's arc is basically done at this point. Can I just say that I'm surprised that they actually have the common sense to end stuff there? Like, you know, with stuff no, no, like... I, I agree with you. I, well, I never you. said they were going to end. We're, they're just hum, hum, hush, hush about it. Well, I mean... That's... Okay, I'll say this. Even current age DreamWorks has not brought back the likes of this franchise. They're bringing or... back Shrek. Yeah, they're bringing back. They're taking the sweet time to do that, by the way. Like, there has been a long time since we've heard we've heard of a Shrek Five being in development. I know, and they have not brought back Madagascar either yet, too. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's some bout of integrity still fighting within. Who knows? I would rather have Sinbad come back personally, but oh god, yeah, Sinbad totally would have been great as a film series. You had unlimited potential, but you know what? Probably shouldn't go off on a rant about that. That's. Well, there's plenty of time to do that when we actually cover that movie for the channel. Oh, hold on. It's, yeah, 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 right here. Yeah, basically right here. Uh, Jeffrey Katzenberg said, said that it is possible that the series could see three more sequels after three, bringing it to a six-film series. However, uh, in on, in 2016, uh, they asked Jennifer U. Nelson, it's one at a time, we want to make this a perfect jewel, so we'll see what happens after that. This was them talking about the third movie. Uh -huh. um, and then with the sequels, we don't want to try to have them feel open-ended a lot. We wanted to feel like a completed journey. Um, and then in 2018, when they were asked about any updates on Kung Fu Panda 4, they replied that they did not know as it was always seen as a series as a trilogy. So basically they backpedaled by saying, oh, we always saw this as a trilogy. 
but we were open to the idea of a fourth movie uh, as long as it focused on Poe, they say. And since then, we haven't heard nothing. So basically, my guess is Universal came in and decided uh, um, that it would be much easier to make money on uh, stuff like Boss Baby. Because, yeah. Um, but whatever, I'm not here to talk about that. The point is, yeah, Kung Fu Panda 2 is awesome. Uh, I, I just wish that I just wish we could rework that final scene to, because I, I still stand by my idea that the father being there alive immediately after Poe telling uh, his adopted father, I'm your son, immediately after that, like, it's poor timing. Like, it, even, if you're, even if you're okay, even if I was okay with the father being alive, it's poor, the, the way the movie puts it, like it's so poor timing. It's immediately after Poe officially Let's go of the past. I was actually going to ask. <laughs> now we literally get the tease that the past is going to come back. I, 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 clank logic. Okay, okay, okay. I was the a... back, like, oh, okay, I'm over. I, I was Next actually to, about that. I was actually going to ask Pedro, how would you have timed it? Like, let's assume you still have to have the father be alive. How would you have done it? Well, um. Well, here's the thing, Dadge. At the big, uh, let me just answer Dadge real quick. Here's the thing, Dadge. It was um, it, it was um, Clank that brought it brought it up by repairing the Dimensionator. So it's not like <laughs> Ratchet was even concerned about it. It was it was Clank that brought it up. But anyway, um, where was I? Yeah, here's where I done it. This brought up a good point. That should have been a post credit scene, not mid credit scene. Post credits. That way, you allow at the very least allow the audience to absorb the ending and you know get comfortable and then at the end and then after the end of the credits you have that post credit scene teasing the sequel and that would have been better timing you know i'm not gonna but, lie i'm not gonna but, lie i always oh. anything like because yeah. right after that's just no that's too soon you, you know even absorb <laughs> the idea of pro pro letting go of the past go on Trevor. i'm not gonna lie i always remember that as a post credit scene like I don't know, maybe when I saw it? But it's weird. I always remember that scene as a post credit scene for some reason. It is not, as you just saw. Well, yeah, obviously. It's just that, uh, well, hmm. I oh, wonder. Well, the, that being said, that's like the one the one problem I have because everything else in this movie is awesome. So no complaints here, except from that. I'm done. Yeah, honestly, it's a fantastic movie. Like, everything is ramped up by 10. The story, the gore, the themes, the backstories, the villain, the animation. Like, it's it's all wonderful, really. Lord Chen is an amazing villain. Compelling. He can still also have funny moments as well, but again, it tells you just because he's a peacock does not mean he's any less dangerous than Tai Lung. Not just that. Even even his comedy moments kind of reflect his character. Like the fact that he's constantly so obsessed with the this perfection. conquest, and, and this conquest, where you can just tell that deep down inside he's hurting because he hasn't actually tried to properly, you know, achieve, grieve and achieve inner peace. Like he's just he's just so angry at the at the world and refuses to listen to anybody about it. Pretty much, yeah. And it's all done exceptionally well. Like I said, the action and fight choreography are top-notch. Like, again, not just for a DreamWorks picture, but, heck, animated picture in general. It's so energetic and in a good way. But it also does make sure to have its good quiet moments to settle down and help us get a semblance of things, too. And my god, the heartbreak can be real. I mean, don't get me wrong, the first Kung Fu Panda had the feels as well. Especially with the tragic backstory of Tai Lung, but this one ramps it up a notch, like... You have Lord Sen, a guy who did want to do right by his parents, but went about it the ultra-wrong way. And mm -hmm. that in turn led to one mess after another, including a mess that would affect Poe on quite a level too. The apparent extinction of a series. It's also very nice getting to see the characters and how they've grown and interacted. Like, Tigress has grown from being the one who constantly told Poe, No, you are absolutely not the Dragon Warrior, to now... Being legit concerned for his safety when she knows something is going on here and there. And, to be fair, if there's one thing that Kung Fu Panda Free did do exceptionally, it would be tying a bow on Tigress's arc throughout the free movies, I'd say. True. Yep. 
So yeah, that's good. And yes, they made sure to actually have more Jackie Chan in this movie. I appreciate that. Good. Um, yeah, all the Furious Five do get their own special moments in there, especially with Mantis. So, yeah. Um, Wait, is Mantis your favorite? Nah, nah, nah. Okay, I was about to be like, oh my god. What, is Mantis your favorite? No. But nah, no, this movie just does pretty much everything right. I will agree that I feel like... I Look, I don't even mind the fact that the pandas or his father are alive... But I do agree that the timing feels way too sudden on the whole. I'm alive, and like I said, how does he know his son's alive? Because that's he convenient. Know because <laughs> conveniently Father after intuition. Again, conveniently after the main bad guy who nearly wiped out their tribe is dead. Hmm. Hmm. Are you, saying, are you telling me that they probably didn't really have a plan? From the get go, and they just want to sequel. Well, no, oh, no, 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 no. That's the thing. They did have a plan, and like I said, the whole pandas being alive thing that doesn't feel like a cop out. No, no, no. That feels like they actually legit did have that as a plan. It's I do wonder they, if maybe they, they were a little too eager for that plan to the point where they literally <laughs> put the scene revealing the pandas are alive at the tail end of the film, and not even you know after a post credit scene where it probably would have given us time to come down from the highs, but no, like, literally right after Poe was said, oh, I've let go of the past, suddenly, the past is about to haunt Poe. It's, 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 like it's like this, it's like this. I've done it, father. I have let go of the past. I am over the death of my parents. I am better now. Two, two seconds later. Oh, by the way, it turns out I'm alive. Whoa. Well, <laughs> shit. Yeah. Kind of, kind of undermines the drama, uh, the, the payoff a bit, doesn't it? It, it does. I do feel like, as Pedro mentioned, it's something as subtle as the timing, too. Like, it's so weird that it comes out so quickly. Like, and again, I remembered that more as a post credit scene, so I guess mentally I must have remembered it as that, because it feels so out of nowhere. And like I mm -hmm. said, would it have killed them to explain Not how just, he knows his son is alive in this movie? Just that job. It comes out of nowhere and leaves just as abruptly. Because that, like, uh, like seriously, like, we, uh, like oh, my son's alive. Then we see the pandas, and then the end. Like, it's seriously, we don't even get any time to actually properly... Wait, wait, what, what was that? It's literally a neon sign saying, Hey, see you back for Kung Fu Panda Free, because... <laughs> look, they would have had you know some... you're gonna watch it. Look, 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 look. DreamWorks would have had massive egg on their faces if they canceled Kung Fu Panda Free after a cliffhanger like that. Like, holy hell... And you know what? To their credit, it it did it did work out for them. But I'm just saying, like, man, you could tell that they knew they were on the rise. But that that <laughs> takes some guts. I'm just glad we never got four, five, and six because, uh, yeah, that I'm that's a bit too much. I'll just say this: I'm willing to believe that the franchise could have still been good for four, five, and six, but. There would probably need to be at least a good amount of hiatus and break time at some point. Unless they absolutely have that plan locked down well and good. Like, that's the mm -hmm. thing. We don't really know entirely what that plan was. and I don't think Jennifer Yu Nelson even works at DreamWorks anymore. So at this point, yeah, I'm pretty sure the series is done. And you know what? It's not all bad. Like, you know, it had a good run. Sure. Like, and trust me, by DreamWorks production standards these days, that's kind of a godsend. Yeah. So, yeah. Like, again, not even the Mighty Shrek franchise was as spotless as, say, the Kung Fu Panda franchise. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, Kung Fu Panda 2, a fantastic movie. Shiroi, close us out with... Wait, I didn't go. Yeah, what about this? Dej, you go Dej. next. Deji hasn't given his thoughts yet. I could make uh, so, Kung Fu Panda 2, a good movie. I, st I still feel like I prefer the first one, just because I like the theme of it. Follow your dreams, stay true to yourself, and you know, yesterday, is a yesterday was history, tomorrow is a mystery. That's why it's called the present. Today's a gift, that's why it's called the present. Mm -hmm. which is like yeah, I like that one. That's a perfect line. Well, this like, movie oh my God. has that still. 
just not as much as the, the focus. I, I know. I, I just feel, I, I don't know. I just feel like the first one just hit that more strongly. I think this one is great because it's cool to see Poe's character growth and see how far he's come. Like he hasn't ch- he hasn't changed as a person because he's still the same guy, but he he knows his way around and it's like he's following his dreams, leading the Furious Five. Well, it's about it's overcoming all... trauma. At the end of the day, that's basically what this is: overcoming yes. trauma. Yeah, trauma that he didn't even know he had. Hmm. I was like, yeah, Shen. Uh, yeah, I, I will say that Shen is a better villain than who, who was the guy from the first one? I forgot his name. Tai Long. Tai Long. Because it's like, yeah, he's basically responsible for the way Poe is, like yeah. his life. Not even just that. He's, like, he's just an overall much more entertaining villain, whereas Tai Long yeah. feels like a, an MCU phase one villain. <laughs> so... uh, I was just going to say, uh, okay, I, okay, I was going to okay. say Jiren. But but more like an obstacle rather than a character. Yeah, I basically. would give Tai Lung a bit more credit in that he did have a good backstory. I think it's just like more so his goal felt a little one note in regards. His to His backstory story. feels more like it advances Shifu's story rather than his own. Mm-hmm. I would say that it does still have that layer of tragedy to his own character oh, in yeah. that sense. And, in a way, he is sort of also a dark reflection of Poe as well as another student of Shifu's who was supposed to be the Dragon Warrior. Only he took it the wrong way when it turned out he wasn't. Yikes. And then, and then Ninjago Season 5 stole this plot. Uh. <laughs> I'm not joking. All right. If only on. I cared about Lego Ninjago. That show kind of lost me after the first season, I won't lie. It gets better. Hmm. But yeah, uh, is that all your thoughts, Dead? No, it's like this is a good. This is a good movie. The the humor is great. The action, the choreography is superb. Like, mm, good, good, good stuff. Yes. And the fun, the one Poe carries the fireworks and just throws it back, and you know, that was actually pretty cool. I was like, oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. but, oh, overall, it's a good movie and a great continuation to the foundation they laid. So, uh, yeah, that that's all I can say. Go on, Shiri. That was a really good movie. I uh, definitely got to appreciate it a lot more now. It has been a long time since I've seen it. Yep, definitely best villain in the series, even though I've only seen two of the movies, but still. Oh, you uh... haven't seen three? Well, no. Let's, well, let's, well, let's face it, Shiri. Uh, sorry, let's, sorry, let's face it, Jova. Can you blame her for being so confident on that statement? I mean, how can you even top this guy? I will say that they did give a good attempt in free, but yeah, it does depend on your viewpoint. But yeah, no, I mean, look, even though I love Tai Lung, Lord Shen is just a dozen mm. times better. He has a different kind of flair, I think. But yeah. yeah. No, and... no, definitely best villain. Sorry, Jova? Would you say an old man form of flair? <laughs> 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 I'm so sorry. (laughs) Uh, um, The movie looks really good. That's that's why I asked when it came out because, yeah, it's it's a really good looking movie at this point. Yeah. The the 2D animation is really nice, like because this had a TV series, but I'm guessing that was also CG. Uh, I think the Uh, uh, yes, there was. It was 2D. I think wasn't there? No, no, no. Um, the series that came out that was CG, the TV series. Granted, if there was a 2D series, I'm not aware of it. But mm, no, the okay. one that aired on Nickelodeon that was CGI, from what I remember. Well, what I was gonna say, even though this came before it, it would have been nice if they went the tangled route and used that 2D stuff for the animated series. But it is nice. Yeah. To have, it's nice to have it as it is, and I do agree with Jova that it feels like they're using it. You know. Sincerely in this movie? Yes. Mm-hmm. Sure. Uh, there was something else I was going to say, but I'm not quite sure what it was. Okay. Or something what, to do with what we brought up. What, what, well, what do you think of the end? What, what's your opinion on the ending scene? Oh, with- that that's it. Yeah, I, I agree with the rest of you. It, it, it does undermine what Poe has gone through in this, because he's dealt with his trauma, and now eventually he's going to find out that his father's alive. 
they should have ended it here in terms of Pozark. This was already said, but I, I agree. Because now they're just drawing out his personal issues because they need another movie. They could have focused on somebody else. I mean, they have a great group of people here. Yeah, it's more like maybe the Furious Five should have a chance to shine as characters instead of just being the Tigress show. If I remember yeah. correctly, there was supposed to be a Furious Five spinoff at some point. Did that happen, or...? Mm, I don't think Not from so. what I okay. recall. But yeah, and even if they were going to do this, I, I also agree that it should have been an after credits thing because, yeah, you really don't have time to process, you know, the lesson, I guess we'll call it, for the end of this movie. But yeah, aside from that, everything else was great. Like, yeah, definitely... Hmm. I'm not sure... I like both the first movie and this movie for different reasons, so I'm not sure which one I actually like better. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, that's it for this. Yep. Yeah. All right, everybody. That was Kung Fu Panda 2. We'll eventually get around to Kung Fu Panda 3. So, tune in for that. See ya. Bye. See ya.